Dwayne Lee Bacon Jr. Born August 30th, 1995. Before I start this video off, I want to mention something a lot of you guys have been telling me to do, so I decided to put it there and see what happens. I do this channel for the love of creating basketball content that's real and from the point of view of people like me. Most of these videos are tough to get monetized because the clips I use to make this video what it is. So if you feel like you'd like to donate something, anything will help. Also, many of you have been telling me to get a new mic, so those things can all be improved down below and also on my channel page. Anything you can do would be greatly appreciated, man. Shout out to you guys for rocking with the channel. Now, let's get into it. Man, what the hell is going on with Dwayne Bacon? G League, my guy? Three points per game, my guy? Five points per game? Yo, this is just unacceptable. I took a while to do this guy because I just didn't want to believe this player that had all the tools could be such a miss. After sitting wrecking my brain about it, here's three reasons why I think Bacon ain't cooking. Most of you guys know my guy Dwayne Bacon from the popular Home Team Hoops channel on YouTube that featured characters like Antonio Blakeney, Corey Saunders, and your man Dwayne Bacon. Side note, top five basketball names of all time. I say that because you'd be surprised how much your name can do in this perceptive world we live in. I can see Mark Jackson having a field day with his name. Mama, what's for dinner? Bacon. Yeah, that's right. Breakfast for dinner. <laughs> but anyway, Dwayne was the man in those docuseries and even in real life in high school. Bacon is from Lakeland, Florida, but played his junior season at IMG Academy in Bradenton where he'd average a team leading 19 points per game and four assists. As a senior, he transferred again to Oak Hill Academy and led that team to an undefeated season, averaging 24 points, four rebounds, and two steals. He was also a McDonald's and Jordan Brand All-American. Watching him in those years, I was extremely high on him and thought he had all the tools to be a great player. Shooting, ball handling, attitude, and like I touched on before, star power. He went on to commit to Florida State University in 2015. Stunt number one, breakfast ain't lunch, my nigga. Breakfast is the first meal of the day. Breakfast is early. As in, Bacon should have left Florida State early. For some reason, there's this perception that if a player is expected to do big things, stays more than one year, he's looked at in a lesser light than other freshmen have to take advantage of this new era. Your internet persona can take you to the promised land. Granted, if you're not ready, you will be exposed, but that's where belief in yourself comes into play. Staying as a highly touted recruit in college is proven not to work, ask Perry Jones. But Dwayne did just that. He had a solid freshman year with multiple player of the weeks, double-double games, game winners, and averaged a solid 15.8 points per game and five rebounds in just 23 minutes. After that season, he announced that he would return to school for his sophomore year. I don't care how ready he didn't feel he was, this hurt his career and he still hasn't recovered. The entire year he was in the lottery discussion and thought to be a lock lottery to first round pick. In his second year at State, his points went up to 17 points per game along with his shooting percentages, assists and steals. After that season, he decided it was time to enter. Here's why that hurt him. Along with what I mentioned above, there's also the fact he ended up going 40th. That's second round, people. Second round. This allowed a team like the Charlotte Hornets, who are absolutely terrible at drafting. They literally take the same player from every draft, hoping for a hit. Jeremy Lamb, Malik Monk, Bacon, Bridges. Why do they need so many tweener wings? Bacon fell to this team after being drafted by New Orleans and traded on draft night. Had he went after his first year, he'd be on a different team where he'd have a chance to at least be a starter and we'd see the potential that we all thought he had on full display. Any other team than that one. Stunt number two, bacon, pancakes, cereal, bagels. Man, Charlotte hungry. There's way too many sides on that dish, my G. I don't think Bacon ever had the chance to really develop without having to look over his shoulders in fear of losing his spot, which he eventually did. The Hornets are a confused franchise with no chance of doing anything until they make a small forward slash shooting guard decision. They don't need all those guys at the same position. 
It reminds me of the point guard situation in NY. They're wasting Kemba's prime and Bacon's natural talent, and it's sad. In his rookie year, he averaged a disappointing three points per game and shot a horrible 37% from the field. They literally took he and Monk in the same draft. That stunted his growth by not showing him that they had the confidence in him to fill the small forward position, and I think it hurt him mentally and it hurt his game. Stunt number three, demotion. I couldn't believe it when I heard the news that Dwayne Bacon was going to be sent to the G League. After his second season where he averaged five points per game, two rebounds and one steal, he was sent just there, only appearing in less than 35 games so far for the Hornets this year. I'm shocked, honestly. I can't believe this player didn't turn out to be great, or not as yet, let's make that clear. He has all the tools, but the things he can control is getting to him. No one likes demotion, and basketball is the same. There's a different mindset and adjustment you have to go through being demoted, and I think it hurt Bacon being held out of games and sent down to the G League. Until Dwayne gets a new scenery, I don't think we'll ever see his talents on full display like we think he can. I'm rooting for him, and I hope he get his basketball shit together, man, because this guy could really be a Hall of Fame talent just trapped in a bad situation. Shout out to Dwayne Bacon, and shout out to you guys for holding the channel down. It's your boy JC Stunner Growth, and I'm out.